Good day, welcome back. If this is your first time, welcome and I hope you find this helpful. We are going to look at adding and subtracting of fractions today. Very important when adding or subtracting with fractions is to remember that the denominators must always be the same before you can start adding or subtracting. For instance, if we have three sevenths plus two thirds. Now three is not a factor of seven and neither is seven a multiple of three. Remember we did fractions and multiples in term one and this is why you did it because it is important with fractions. So now I have to find the lowest common multiple that they share and obviously it is 21. So how do I get to 21 from 7? I must always multiply whenever we talk of multiples. So what I do at the bottom with the 7, I must do at the top with the 3. Why? Because 3 over 3 is a whole, it's equal to 1. And remember, the properties of multiplication with 1 is it stays the same. The value of any number multiplied with 1 does not change. And therefore, 3 sevenths will be equal to 9 twenty-ones. Then I need to change my second fraction and I have to multiply with 7 over 7, which will be 14 twenty-ones. If I add them together, I only add my numerators. I do not add my denominators, I only add my numerators. And 9 plus 14 will give me 23 over 21. Now, as you can see, this is an improper fraction and I need to make it a mixed number. So how many 21s will you find in 23? And that is correct. There's one 21 and I'm left with two 21s. And there is my final answer. So steps, find the common, lowest common multiple, add only my numerators, and write in the simplest form. Now, if I add mixed numbers, it's important to also add the whole numbers. Once again, find the lowest common multiple. This is a quite an easy one because five is a factor of 15. So I can only multiply five with three to get to 15. And once again, I must write three over three to make it a whole. Then I have 15 and seven fifteenths plus eight and nine fifteenths. 15 plus eight, Will give me 23 and 7 plus 9 is 16. Once again, can you see we only add the numerators. 16 is bigger than 15. So once again, I have an improper fraction. How many 15s will be in 16? A 1. Then I add it to, it to my 23, which will then become 24 and I have 1 15th left. Then we are moving on to subtraction of fractions. Once again, as you can see, my denominators are not the same. I need to get them the same. 4 is, however, not a factor of 9, so I need to find this lowest common multiple, which will be 36. 7 times 4 will give me 28 over 36 and 3 times 9 will give me 27 over 36. Subtracting only my numerators and I end up with 1 over 36. And it's as simple as that. Write it in simplest form always. Let's continue with subtracting of mixed numbers. I have 5 and 2 fifths, subtracting 3 and 8 fifteenths. Are my denominators the same? No, they are not. I need to get them the same. 
So I will multiply two fifths with three over three, which in the end will give me 16 over 15. Now, as you can see, eight is more than six and I need to subtract it from six. So I will have to go and borrow a whole from the five. And a whole is 15 over 15. That's where I got my 15 plus my 6 from. And now my 5 will change to 4 because there's my another whole to make up my 5. Then my second number remains the same. 15 plus 6 will give me 21. Now I can subtract 4 minus 3 will give me 1. And 21 minus 8 will give me 13 over 15. Can I simplify? No, it is in its simplest form. I hope you find this useful. That was, this was a very short video. Remember, when we recap, all our denominators need to be the same. If I subtract, I can go and borrow from my holes if my second number is bigger than my first number to be able to subtract. Always write your answer in the simplest form. I hope you find this helpful. Stay safe and see you again next time.